Oh my gosh, you guys, if you thought Piper Raquel's situation was bad, it just got worse. Ever since Piper's squad fell apart, we've been getting bits and pieces about what's been really going on behind the scenes with her mom, Tiffany Smith. Especially when it was announced that several ex-squad members were suing Piper's mom, Tiffany. This lawsuit has been in the works for over a year now, but as time goes by, there's more and more news coming forward about Tiffany and the horrible abuse she has caused on those children when they were a part of that squad. I mean, Tiffany Smith's public records are on the web for everyone to see and well, it's been no secret that she really did put these kids through it. I mean, these kids actually came forward and briefly talked about what Tiffany put them through on their social media pages, but it wasn't until I read all of this, I am truly disturbed. Now, there are some things that I can't even mention on this channel, but I will go over it and briefly share with you guys what's been going on and why she's being sued. This document is a complaint filed in the Superior Court of California, County of Los Angeles by several minors plaintiffs against Tiffany Raquel Smith, Hunter Hill, Piper Raquel. The plaintiffs allege that over several years, they contributed their names, images, and likeliness to videos produced for Piper Raquel's YouTube channel, generating significant revenue for defendants, but were never compensated and suffered abuse. After leaving the YouTube group, defendants conspired to interfere with plaintiffs' individuals' YouTube channels, diminishing their revenue. Plaintiffs are seeking damage for violation of their rights and intentional torts committed by defendants. So not only was Tiffany Smith forcing these kids to work long, grueling hours, they weren't even getting paid. Plaintiffs were never compensated by defendants, despite the fact that their contributions, including the use of their names, images, and likeliness on Piper's YouTube channel, generated significant revenue for defendants. After plaintiffs eventually left the squad, defendants conspired amongst each other to intentionally interfere with and sabotage plaintiffs individual YouTube channels by driving subscribers and video views down. No way. Now this is where it gets a bit too much for my channel personally. Here it lists a ton of abuse and sexual harassment that Smith caused on these ex-squad members, which keep in mind are minors and were minors at the time. Um, but I will not be reading this on my channel if you want to. I will link the website down below so you can check it out for yourself but yes it's pretty messed up guys all you need to know is that she's being sued for sexual battery and emotional distress what do y'all think about this be sure to let me know in the comments down below